about uh, setting up um, LawnBot uh, to post the payments correctly in your system. Um, for the time being, until real green payment processing is done, uh, being integrated, uh, we're using Stripe as a temporary workaround. Um, or not charging the card at all, and you would just manually enter their, their payment information. But this method is, I'm going to show you how to set it up uh, in the event that you are, that you are Stripe, uh, that you're using Stripe as the short-term workaround. Um, so step one is we're going to need to create a new payment type in your system. So you just click on the little gear here at the top right. Um, scroll down to payment type. And you can see all your different payment types here in SA5. Uh, all of the different payment types. You can see I've already went ahead and created one. Um, now let's let's create one from scratch. I'll create one um, new. We'll just call it uh, NS. So you, you need a payment code. And then a name, so uh, maybe just put LawnBot for now. Uh, LawnBot, we'll say Stripe is the description. Um, be sure not to click ACH or credit card. Uh, you want available selected, and you also want it to be a cash account. So um, this, in this example, there's a few different cash accounts that they have set up. Uh, you just want to make sure it's a cash account. That way, uh, when you actually go in to add a payment to the client's record, it's not going to ask you to run the card again because obviously they've already paid you um, through Stripe, um, at, at least for the first application or the prepay. So uh, we'll go ahead now and um, got the name, the code. It's a cash account. Uh, we'll do that one, 1015 cash account, add. Uh, you can see it added, LawnBot Stripe and click save. Uh, that adds it to your account as a payment type that's available. So now we're going to pull up a test account. Um, this is a test account uh, that we created inside SA5. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click add payment. Um, from here we'll just do a $20 payment and we're going to go ahead and select uh, Stripe payment. And the check number we usually like to put um, you know, LawnBot and the date that they paid. Uh, LawnBot, and we'll say for 20 is the check number, just so you can track it. And we'll click Save. And you can see that that adds a straight payment. Um, to the journal and then you go ahead and post that journal but what this does is it ensures that um, you're tracking uh, the money correctly in your system so you can keep everything nice and straight um, and really keep things organized so when you run your general ledger report it will actually itemize out all of the stripe payments um, so that everything's nice and nice and clean if you have any questions feel free to email us we'd be more than happy to tap in and help you implement